Here we have one uh, simple report in Cognos Analytics. We only have one list and that list has one textual column and one date column. And I will show you now how to filter these uh, two types of columns. And we will see that filtering uh, text and dates is similar to filtering uh, numeric columns. Now, first we have to select any part of this list. For example, I can click uh, here and then my filter button will appear. I will click on it and then I will click on edit filters. And here I can add an, a new filter by clicking on this uh, plus button. I will choose this first type of filter for date column. Okay. And this is dialog where we can define our filter. In this menu, we can see different kinds of operators. I can choose all the dates that are before this date or, or all the dates that are on or after this date. I can change this date by clicking here. I can change, for example, date to February 8th. And when I click on OK, in here uh, will appear a formula that depicts our uh, filter. And when we click on OK, we will apply our filter. Now I will go back to filter button, then to edit filters. I will double click this filter to uh, change it. Uh, now one different operator is operator between. If we use between, we can select two dates. For example, I will select uh, January 3rd and for example, August uh, 9th. And all the dates between these two dates will be selected or I can change or reverse my filter. Instead of keeping these values, I can exclude them. So when I click on OK, only values that are, are not uh, between these two dates will remain. So when I click on OK, we can see that now we have not in front of our uh, filter. And when I click on OK, only those other dates uh, will be selected. I will go now back again, edit filters. I will double click my filter. And now instead of using uh, this range filter, I will now use individual filter. For that, I have to click on this second tab. I will click here. And in this right pane, we will again see uh, those two dates that remained from this uh, range filter. Those two dates are actually these two dates. So I will just remove them. I don't need them. Uh, instead of that, in this uh, left pane, I will see a list of all possible dates. You can see all dates that we have in our data. And we can select some of, of, of these dates. I will select this, this, and this uh, date, and they will appear in this uh, list. I can also uh, keep these values or I can exclude them. So I will change this to keep these values. And when I click on OK, we will see a formula that uh, explain um, our filter. We will notice in this formula that our date is written as year-month-day. That will be important later. And I will click on OK to see how this uh, filter work. Yes, it works. Now I will go back. I go to filter button, edit filters. I will double click this filter and I will remove all of these values. Or I can click on these minuses to remove each uh, value separately. And now I will show how we can uh, type by hand uh, dates that we want to filter. If we click here, we can uh, select some of these separators. I will choose comma as a separator and I will type some dates. I type always first year, then a month, and then a day. Again, for other uh, date. And when I click on uh, add, uh, those two dates will appear here. And when I click on OK, add on OK, I will see how my uh, filter works. Now we will see how to filter textual column. For that, we go again to a uh, filter button, edit filters. I will delete this filter here. I will click here on minus. And with plus, I will add another filter. This time I will choose month textual column. We click on OK. And first we can select uh, between individual values. We can select any of these uh, values. They will appear in this pane on the right. Uh, we can use these arrows to see all of, all of the possible values. Uh, here above we can use search, for example, May, and uh, then we will see only uh, May. We can use this menu. This is all uh, the same uh, menu as uh, in for uh, numeric uh, columns. 
We can also change this setting from keep these values to exclude these values. If we want to, I will leave it as keep these values. And we can manually uh, type some uh, terms. Uh, this time, because we are dealing with text, we don't have to worry about uh, format. For example, I will type just January and February. And when I click on add, uh, those two terms will appear here. I will remove now all of these uh, values. And now, instead of using individual, individual values, I will show you how to use condition. Uh, in this case, uh, we can uh, choose between different operators. For example, first operator is contains. And if I type here a UG, uh, in that case, only August will be found because only August has these two uh, letters in its uh, name. Uh, we can also use, use start with to search everything that starts with uh, JU. For example, to find uh, June and July, uh, we can enable this option to make our uh, search uh, key sensitive if we want to. And I will now try this uh, filter. I will click on OK. We can see our uh, depiction of uh, our filter. And when I click on OK, only uh, those two uh, months uh, will be found. Now I will go again on uh, filter button, edit filters. I will go back to edit this uh, filter. Uh, now I will show you one uh, special filter. This is it. It is uh, matches SQL pattern. Uh, this special filter is using wildcards. There are two wildcards. First one is underscore. Underscore is used to replace one unknown letter. So we can type, for example, M and then underscore, then underscore. Uh, this means that we are looking for a word that has three letters, but first letter has to be M. And when I click on OK, and then on OK, we will get meant my because that month has three letters and the first letter is M. I will go back. I will show you now a second uh, wild card. For several letters, we can use percent sign. For example, if we type percent sign and then ER, in that case, we will find all of the months that ends with ER. And when I click on OK, yes, we see uh, how our formula uh, looks like. Then if we click again on OK, uh, we will get September, October, November and so on. I will go back now and I will show you how to use this option escape character. Let's say that we are literally looking for a uh, term 20%. In this case, Cognos will understand this percent sign as a wildcard, but we wanted to understand it literally. So we are looking for uh, these uh, three letters uh, as one uh, term. In this case, we have to first to define our escape character. I will choose sharp, and then we have to add that escape character in front of wildcard. In this case, Cognos will not understand this uh, percent sign as a wildcard, but it will understand uh, correctly that we are looking for 20%.